Hey everyone, my name is Shane and I'm a big baseball fan. Welcome back to 3 Up, 3 Down. Alexis is back with me today. Apparently you guys like when she's here because you had almost 700 views on the last time a video was made with her. So for today's video, we're going to update on our fantasy baseball draft. Alexis and I have been going back and forth for the first 12 weeks of the fantasy baseball season. So you guys probably want to know who's winning and who's losing at this point in the year. No spoilers. you got to watch this. So we'll update you on our teams. There have been changes, so nobody's going to question stuff. I've been managing both teams. There's been changes made on both teams. Alexis has some idea of the changes that have been made. Some new players, some injuries, of course. So we'll go through the teams and what they're about. If a reminder, we both started the year with the number three pick in the draft, I think it was. Number four. Number four? My okay, number, number four. Number four pick in the draft. We created our teams. We're in separate leagues, so we can't have some of the same players. Yeah, I'm in the hard league, and he's in the easy. This is just casual. I'm up against people that just chill in their mom's basement all day and watch sports. Okay, so her league has been a little bit more challenging than mine. But you'll see where we're at. You'll see the teams, and then we'll tell you exactly what place we're in. The big goal for both of us is to finish in the top six because that puts you into the championship playoffs. So that's the goal for both teams. So you'll see where there are as we get to that point. Yep. Are we ready to go? Ready. We're going to start with Team Alexis. Yep. We'll start with Team Alexis. Start with the best. And then we'll get into my team, and then we'll tell you all about where we're at. So let's get into it. Okay, so jumping into Team Alexis, we'll start with the injuries. So Salvador Perez right now is hurt. That's a big disappointment. Seiya Suzuki is hurt. Ta Ty France is hurt, and Taylor Ward is hurt, and Freddie Peralta is hurt. So unfortunately, Alexis has had some injuries. Uh, some of them are coming back. Ty France and Seiya Suzuki are going to be back very soon. So I know Alexis has been very happy with her team. Vlad has been Vlad. He's been very good. Marcus Simeon was terrible for the first two months, and you'll see that in some of her results. But now he's been very good since then, especially in June. O'Neill Cruz is a young guy. He's new. We're not sure how long he's going to stick around, but he, he filled in for some injuries. Corey Seager's been okay. Brian Reynolds was just like Marcus Simeon. He was terrible the first two months, and then in June, he's been unreal. Uh, Suzuki's been hurt. Lourdes Gurriel is a pickup. And again, he's another guy. I don't know how long he'll stick around. He's been on a hot streak for the Blue Jays, but we'll see. Patrick Wisdom has hit a lot of home runs. He's been useful still. Alejandro Kirk is the guy who hits behind Vladdy. So Kirk has been a big, big pickup for Alexis at catcher. Josh Bell has been a pickup. He's had a very good year. I'm shocked that he was available. Jaron Duran and Michael Harris are kind of some young guys to help us out a little bit along the way. Been happy with your players so far? Yes. Vladdy especially? I'm unfortunately going to tell you that Vlad has replaced my favorite baseball player, so don't have any for hurt feelings. Uh, okay, okay. I can accept that. Pitcher Shane Bieber is still there. Freddie Peralta is unfortunately hurt for a while, but we're keeping him because we think he's going to be back right around playoff time for fantasy baseball, and he's going to be the guy that wins you the league. One can hope. Uh, Ryan Presley is still there. Uh, she's had some changes just in the bullpen, guys. So Matt Barnes lost his job to a guy further down, Tanner Hook. So basically they just replaced each other. Uh, who is the other guy? You got Anthony Bender. Anthony Bender has been replaced by Tanner Scott. So those are simple replacements. Camilo Duvall is a guy that you liked when you went to the, do the draft. You'd have him for a while now because he was going to be Jake McGee. So he was the replacement there. Uh, Cal Quantrill was a recent replacement. David Peterson was picked up just for basically one game. He's now actually gone. And then Taiwan Walker and Nick Pavetta have kind of filled in for Freddie Peralta. So that's kind of your team as it stands right now. Some changes, but the main guys are still there. Vladdy. We got good bones. Vladdy, Marcus, Corey Seager, Brian Reynolds. That's been the goal. Keep, uh, keep the consistency of the guys that you had. Shane Bieber, all those guys have been sticking around. And your best pick, I'll say it right now, the best pick she's had all year, Ty France, you picked in the 18th round. And he's going to be an all-star. So I got good taste. Ty France is the guy who's been absolutely carrying your team consistently all the way with the likes of Vladi. So the consistency has been there. 
So yes, that's Team Alexis, some changes, but not a whole bunch, just some filling in here and there along the way. Happy their team still? Yes. We haven't made a lot of changes. Hopefully, Freddy and Salvi are back soon from injury. Okay, so taking a look at Team Shane, I've had some injuries as well. Tyler Stevenson, my catcher, has been hurt. Jazz Chisholm has been hurt. Kyle Lewis is someone I've got hanging around who's been hurt. And Kenley Jansen is a pitcher that's been hurt. So you'll see some extra names along the way. Again, the guys in bold are the new ones. Max Muncy is still there, although Max Muncy is barely hanging on because he's been useless. Austin Riley's had a decent year. Jorge Polanco just got back from being hurt. He's still around. Juan Soto is my first pick, which was a mistake. I will admit to it. I really wish I had Vladi or Jose Ramirez because Juan Soto in fantasy has not been good for fantasy numbers. Luis Roberts been decent. Lourdes Gurriel is still around. Reese Hoskins is still around. I also have Alejandro Kirk as my new catcher, and he's sticking around just like Team Alexis. Tommy Pham has been an outfield replacement along with Jaron Duran. Duran is getting some stolen bases, so he's been useful. Nathaniel Lowe, the first baseman for Texas, has been a pickup, as well as Jeremy Pena at shortstop from Houston. Shocked that Pena was available because he's having such a good year. Kyle Lewis, the hope is that he comes back healthy. He was healthy for all of like four games, got hit in the head with a pitch, and has a concussion, so that really sucked. So I'm hoping he gets healthy and can have a good year. Team Alexis had him for a while as well, but she just had too many injuries and had to let him go. I've had concussions. I know how that messes you up. Yeah, so we've had hopes that Kyle Lewis gets back soon. Lucas Giolito has been miserable, especially since he's been back from being injured. Sandy Alcantara is the best pitcher in baseball right now. I'm so glad to have him because he's been saving my butt. Kenley Jansen will be back soon. He's just a quick trip to the injured list. He'll be back. He's had a good year. Corey Knable is out in Philadelphia. So now I'm rocking with Lou Trevino, the Oakland closer, which is scary, but I needed someone. Logan Webb, Mike Clevenger, Cal Quantrill, they're all still sticking around. Cal Quantrill is probably the next guy out the door. Yeah, and who picked that for me too? Yeah, well, he lasted longer on my team than your team. He left and was gone pretty soon on your team. Because you found better options. I didn't find a better option. <laughs> Tristan McKenzie I've had for a long time. Because Bailey Ober got hurt early in the year. Joan Duran has been a pickup. I was hoping to get saves from him. He hasn't been getting saves. But he's been too good to let go. John Gray is a recent pickup. And then Tanner Scott to pick up some saves as well. So Alexis and I both have Tanner Scott. In the Miami Marlins closer spot. Uh, you can see the guys that I let go there along the way. Hunter Green I was really excited for. He started poorly, then was good, and I let him go pretty early in the year. So my pitching staff has kind of been uh, a mix of in and out with guys, as have been my outfielders in particular. So that's where my team stands right now. I'm sure there will be more changes along the way. But just like Alexis, a lot of my guys that I picked at the start of the year are still hanging on. Although I don't have anybody like a Ty France who's had such a consistent year who's a late draft pick. But that's where we're at. So, yeah, that's my team. And I guess it's now time to get into where we stand along the way. So that leads into my results for the year. Here you are. Take a look. Hang on, folks. I'll be back in a couple minutes. Just stick to the end of this video. I'll be back, I promise. So my results, I'm currently in fourth place. You can see the results there. We had a decent start to the year, a pretty good May, where we went win-win-loss, win-win-win. So very good start to the year. And then we've had some trouble since then. A couple losses, kind of mixed with a couple wins in there. Trying to figure it out right now through June. June has been a bit of a slump for my team. We were up as high as third. We never really dropped in the second. Uh, maybe early, early in the year I was second. But right now, still sitting in third. If you look along the side there, I'm 11 games out of first place. It's kind of a battle in the middle right now, so I need to put together a good streak to try and hold in that top six. I like my chances. My team's improving a little bit in the last week, currently in week 13. We're hoping to look and get a big win in week 13. But that's where we're at. I'm currently in fourth, hoping to hang on to a top six spot as minimum, maybe even sneak up into a top two to get a bye in the first round. So there is Team Shane. This is Team Alexis. We are currently in fourth place. Take it away, Shane. So Alexis had a, a decent start to the year. Say Suzuki 
really, really saved your butt early in the year with a couple wins. Then were some really bad weeks, losing 9-1, 8-2, another 8-1 in there. But since it flipped to June, guys like Marcus Simeon and Brian Reynolds have picked it up, and Alexis has gone win-loss, win-win-win-win. So a four-game winning streak. She was in 11th place at one time going into that winning streak. Now she's in fourth place. You can see it there. Yes, she's 18 and a half games out, but right in that mix for top six, like it's still got an eight, nine game lead on seventh place. So a big stretch from first, maybe even second, but third place is certainly possible. Maybe even second because the second place team with the team Alexis, that guy has set his lineup and doesn't change it ever. It is the same lineup, and he's starting to pick up some injuries and starting to take some losses. So maybe there's a chance with a good stretch here with her team to slip all the way up, maybe into second place, especially if some guys come back from injury. But we're 12 weeks in out of 21, so there's still lots of chance to move up in this. So there you have it. Both Team Shane and Team Alexis are in fourth place 12 weeks through the baseball season. There you have it, folks. Thanks for sticking around this long. Love having you here on this channel. Please drop a like and a subscribe. We really appreciate it. If you do, you'll see more of this. Thanks for coming. Yeah, so we'll do another update show at the end of the regular season for this, and then we'll have our final one yeah. probably at the end of the year as to who won and who lost. And like we said, 12 weeks through, both equal, fourth place. I'm only going up. Well, we'll see where we're going. She's been going up. My team's been going down. I guess we're going to see where we finish up. So thank you so much for watching. Let's see if we can get some more subscribers, some more likes. 700 views for this one? Minimum. Minimum? Minimum. Okay, <laughs> last one was two views short of 700, so we're going to 700 this time as a minimum. All right? Until next time, take care, everyone. Thanks for watching.